give up when the going gets tough? When I almost died in 1997, I could have checked out and felt sorry for myself. Instead, I rebuilt my life from the ground up. Sometimes when you fall, you simply have to get right back up and start all over again. I continue my conversation with my friend and inspiration, Grammy Award-winning artist and Tony Award-winning actress, Jennifer Holliday. Thank you. And it's a wonderful thing that when you find out in life that you can still start again and you can still dream new dreams no matter what mess you've made out of your life or how many disappointments and setbacks and I've had many. I've only been a woman, a human being, about seven years. You know, going on eight years now in terms of where I woke up and chose life and chose it no matter what was going to come my way. Uh, and yes, I got it late, but I tell people, you know, that it's better if you get it whenever you get it. And my favorite saying is, it'll get greater later, but you got to stick around if you're going to turn things around. You can't check out of life. You got to be, you know, really saying to yourself, I know that some days are hard. I know that some situations are hard, but do I want to be here? And the answer always comes back to, to yes. Over 15 years ago, Jennifer was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. You would never know it given how vibrantly she performs. At that first time when I had the diagnosis, I could not walk. So the doctor, the first doctor, was saying that I would never walk again. Uh, and I was like, okay. And he says, well, I said, well, why is it that you think that I would never walk again? And he says, well, your brain is not sending the right signals to your legs. And I said, oh, we send signals? I didn't even know. I didn't even know it was like that. I thought we just walk. When I began to realize that our mind actually is the center of everything. How we how we think about things, how we approach things, and the power of of our ability through the mind. And that's what I had to learn first and foremost. So as I still go through challenges and everything is not perfect in my world. So I don't want anybody to know that. Even though everybody's like, oh you look great, you sound like, yeah, everything does look great, sad great, but everything ain't great, okay? So I have problems just like everybody else. I have to deal every day just like everybody else. But I have found an inner strength and an inner peace to say, you know what? Life is worth living. It's, it's a bunch of crap sometimes, but I want to live. I have a purpose for being here. I was born for a reason. I'm worthy to be alive, to be loved, to be appreciated, and I have so much to give. Jennifer is now in her 50s and is ready for even more in life. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm very excited about life, not so much in terms of that I have so much on my list to do, but that I'm going to be just living, and that I'm alive, and that I can embrace life with a, with a new sense of self. So at this point, what inspires me is the challenge of making each day count. It's kind of like, not in a success kind of way. It's not like I have a list of, of achievements that I would like to, you know, scratch off as I go. It's more so, you know, can I really uh, have gratitude for the least little thing? But the fact that I'm alive and the fact that I still have an opportunity to um, to grow and to to learn so much about life and it's, it's it's amazing. Just you know, like we're sitting here with the water, just the water. This is like so important to somebody. It would not be important, but the fact that we can see, feel, smell, and take a moment to just say, okay, this is living, and I'd like to to embrace it. So. This is what's inspiring me right now, life, and how to have it more fully, and still do my work. I'm not trying to not work. That's not, that's not the issue. The issue is how do I have a more balanced life, you know. 
God is faithful. Jennifer is recording new music for the first time in years. I have not really done any new music in 17 years, and so I thought that that could be a way to go into 50, something that I hadn't done in a long time. Um, I do think I sing better now uh, than when I first started with Dreamgirls 29 years ago. So, so to me, that's my new offering. And I think that it'll be all kinds, it'll be meditative music, it'll be, like I said, love songs, new love songs, it'll be spiritual songs. Every, every, from every aspect that I can uh, help to, to inspire someone and mainly to give them hope encouragement to, to go through their day. And you, and you, and you, you're love When you come to hear Jennifer Holiday sing, she gonna sing. <laughs> she gonna sing, she's gonna give you hope, she's gonna give you, give you love. You 